you were a real card-carrying cunt. Where have you been hiding your classically chiseled features? I don't live in the city anymore. Emery, where's your gift? Oh, it's arriving later. <laughs> Larry. Larry. What? Give Michael the gift. Oh, here. Uh, louder so my mother in Philadelphia can hear you. Yeah, well, you were just standing there in a trance. Well, uh, I think you both know Donald. Oh, sure, nice to see you. It's nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. I thought you'd met. Oh, well, well, we haven't exactly met, but we've... Hi. Hi. But you've what? Well, we've seen each other before. Well, that sounds murky. Where? I think they're having their first fight. Yeah, the first one since the last one. <laughs> Where did you find this trash? Second Avenue, leaning against a lamppost. <laughs> with an orchid behind my ear and big red lips painted over the lip line. It's like Maria Montez. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> what have you got against Maria? She was a good woman. Uh, now, look, uh, everybody. Uh, this old college friend of mine is in town, and he's on his way over here for a quick drink on his way to dinner someplace. But now look, he's straight. Straight? If he's the one I met, he's about as straight as the yellow brick road. <laughs> no, you met Justin Stewart. I don't remember meeting anybody named Justin Stewart. Well, of course you don't, dope. I met him. Uh, well, this is somebody else. Yeah, Alan McCarthy, very close, total stranger. Now, it's not that I care what he would think of me, really. It's just that he's not ready for it, and he never will be. You understand that, don't you, Hank? Yeah, sure. Now, you honestly believe he doesn't know about you? Well, if there's the slightest suspicion, he's never let on one bit. What's he had, a lobotomy? <laughs> well, I was super careful when I was in college, and I still am. Whenever I see him. I don't know why, but I am. Tilt! When I was in college, I was just like Alan. Very large in the dating department. I wore nothing but those constipated Ivy League clothes and those 10-pound cordovan shoes. No offense. Quite all right, quite all right. Who do you have to fuck to get a drink around here? <laughs> Would you like somewhere? <laughs> I know damn well I did not come out until after I graduated. What about all those weekends up from school? Well, I still wasn't out. I was still in the Christ was I drunk last night syndrome. Oh. Man, was I drunk last night. Christ, I don't remember a thing. You were just guilty because you were Catholic, that's all. Now, that's not true. The Christ was like drunk last night syndrome knows no religion. It has to do with immaturity. Although I will admit there's a high percentage of it among Mormons. Trollop. <laughs> Somehow we all managed to justify our actions in those days. Why, later I found out that Justin Stewart, my closest friend, who other than Alan McCarthy, was doing the same thing. Only he was going up to Boston for weekends. You see, in the Christ was I drunk last night syndrome, you really are drunk. That much of it's true. It's just that you do remember everything. A lot of guys have to get loaded before they can have sex. Oh, uh, so I've been told. Uh, Donald, if you recall, the first time we made it, I was so drunk, I could hardly stand up. You were so drunk, you could hardly get it up. <laughs> Christ, I was so drunk, I don't remember a thing. Oh, bullshit, you remember. Just friends, lovers, no more. You might as well be, everyone thinks you are anyway. Yeah, well, we never were, really. No, we didn't have time to be. We got to know each other too fast. Jesus, that must be Alan. Oh, uh, now look, everybody, please do me a favor and cool it for the few minutes he's here, okay? Anything for assists, Mary? Now, that's exactly what I'm talking about, Emery. No camping. Sorry. I think the Giants are going to win the pennant this year. Yeah, fucking A, Mac. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no. Hey, baby, we're shaking. <laughs> My knee. Oh, it's only another queen. And it ain't the red one either. It's the queen of spades. We need to destroy it. Hi, Bernadette. Alan? Did anyone ever tell you you look divine in the hammock surrounded by louvers and ceiling fans and lots and lots of lush tropical ferns? You're such a fag. You take the cake. <laughs> well, what about the cake? Whose job was that? Mine. I ordered one what? that delivered. Have any candles in your favorite for our baby? There's too much noise in here. I'm going to the other phone. Hang on. Oh. Michael, may I use the private line? Go ahead. Uh, can I open up for the Marseille Bakery, Manhattan, please? Is everybody ready for a drink? Good. Ready? I'll be your topless cocktail waitress. 
please spare us the sight of your sagging tits. <laughs> what are you having, kids? Is there any beer? No, in the fridge. I'll get beer. Who <laughs> has beer before dinner? Beer drinkers. <laughs> That's telling him. Well, maybe truck drivers do, or wallpapers, but not school teachers. They have sherry. Yeah? Well, this one has beer. Maybe school teachers in public schools. How can a sensitive artist like you live with such an insensitive bull like that? I guess. And remember, you live with Hank in a minute if he'd ask you in 58 seconds. Lord knows you're thin thin Why don't you have a piece of watermelon and hush up? Oh, shit, they don't answer. Well, what are you having, Henry? A pink lady. I'll make my own, thank you. I don't know. I'll see what there is. I can't do it. Now, let's just go. Order, please. Um, vodka and tonic. Vodka and tonic coming up. What the hell is that? Windex? It's a blue whale. Oh, Mary, don't ask. Don't be silly, Alan. There's nothing to apologize for. Well, it's just that I feel like such a fool. I... I could shoot myself for letting myself act that way. Look, it's just as well that you're not coming. There are people here, and uh, it wouldn't be good to talk. But look, what about lunch tomorrow? All right. Why don't you, uh... Why don't you meet me at the, the Oak Row about one o'clock? And listen, Michael. Can you just forget about tonight? Pretend it never happened. I know I have, okay? week you did the complete works of Doris Lessing. That'll last him two days. It will last me two years. I still haven't finished Atlas Shrugged, which I started in 1912. <laughs> some people eat, some people drink, some take both. Now I read. And read and read and read. It's a wonder your eyes don't turn back in your head at the sight of a dust jacket. Well, at least he's a constructive escapist. <laughs> yeah, what do I do? Take planes. No, I don't do that anymore. I don't have the money to do that anymore. I go to the baths. That's about it. I'm about to do both. I'm flying to the West Coast. You still have an act with a donkey in Tijuana? I'm going to San Francisco on a well-earned vacation. I'm going to the club baths, and I'm not coming out till they announce the departure of TWA one week later. You'll never learn to stay out of the baths, will you? The last time Emily was taking the vapors, this big hairy number strolls in. So Emily says, I'm just resting, and the big hairy number says, I'm just arresting. It was the vice. You have to tell everything, don't you? Emily, <laughs> here. Thanks, Sonny. You live with your parents? Yeah, but it's all right. They're gay. <laughs> <laughs> What happened to Alan? Oh, he got terrible aches about having broken down on the telephone. He kept apologizing over and over and over. <laughs> he did a big about face and turned into the old Alan right in front of my very eyes. Ears. Ears. Excuse me. Well, obviously the cracked crab did not work out. Just put out. that down if you don't want your hand slapped. I'm about to have some. I just want to pour off the melted ice. <laughs> You know, sometimes you remind me of the Chinese water torture. No, 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 I take that back. Sometimes you remind me of the relentless Chinese water torture, bitch. Hey, I wonder where Harold is. Hey, where is the frozen fruit? <laughs> Emery refers to Harold as the frozen fruit because of his former profession as an ice skater. She used to be the Vera Ruber Rolston of the Borscht Circuit. Time for your rhythm injection. Now, how did you guess I didn't want to lie down, Bernard? You know, if your mother could see you now, she'd have a stroke. You got a camera on you. All right, Emily, up here right now. Look out. Uh oh, there goes Twinkle Toes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, it's Lily Law. Everyone's three feet apart. Quiet, quiet. It may be Harold. No, it's the delivery boy from the bakery. Ask him if he's got any hot cross buns. <laughs> 
Come on, Emery, knock it off, will you? You can take her anywhere but out. You remind me of an old maid school teacher. You remind me of a chicken wing. I'm sure you meant that as a compliment. 